we're going to have four guests today. The first of them is Wayne McIntosh. Uh, Wayne is the founder of a site called Wiki Educator, which you may or may not have encountered. Uh, this is it's it's based on the same software as Wikipedia, uh, but this is a site that's designed to support educators in uh, in developing educational resources. So it's really it's an enjoyable wiki. It has a, a very different culture, a lot in in common, but also a very different culture from Wikipedia. It's uh, it's it's much more free form and possible to work on your your own projects without having to worry about whether you're complying with uh, with rules and regulations. Uh, Wayne also is the founding director of the OER Foundation, which supports uh, work in in the OER field. And uh, his, I, I believe, current biggest project is the OER University, which is uh, an effort to develop curriculum and uh, and work with established universities around the world that will uh, support the teaching of open educational resources and practices. So uh, Wayne, uh, I, I hope you have some interesting thoughts to share about some Wikipedia articles or some, some background about how your work connects with Wikipedia. So take it away. Um, you know, as Pete said, um, my day job is working for the Open Education Resource Foundation, which is an independent nonprofit entity which provides networking, leadership, and support to education institutions around the world to achieve their strategic objectives using uh, open education approaches. I guess at this point I should clarify that the acronym OER Foundation refers to Open Education uh, Resource Foundation as opposed to Open Educational Resources. And I, I think that's an important differentiation which would uh, impact on the authoring of articles around openness in education. Uh, we use the concept of open education as an umbrella term, which encompasses uh, you know multiple dimensions of openness, including OERs, open educational resources, open education practices, uh, open uh, policy, open source. So the various uh, you know and open learning. So the various dimensions of openness in education all fall under this larger umbrella concept of open education. And, and hence, you know, you know why we call ourselves the Open Education Foundation. As um, Pete said, we uh, run two flagship initiatives: uh, with the Wiki Educator Project, which is a collaboration of, of uh, over 60,000 educators worldwide, working at the heart of the education endeavor, which is really to share knowledge freely. And as Pete mentioned, our uh, community has a slightly different culture to Wikipedia. Uh, it's a more senior audience. 72% uh, of our members are either uh, teachers, uh, educators, or trainers working in the formal education sector. Our um, average age, uh, about you know, half of our participants are over 45 years old, which was actually quite surprising to us when, you know, when we started the project. Uh, as you know, we were expecting you know the web geeks, so to speak, you know, to be participating in the project. But uh, the project really just reflects the age demographic of you know the the, the formal uh, teaching profession. Our other initiative, of course, is the uh, OER University collaboration, uh, which is an innovation partnership of universities, colleges, and polytechnics from all continents who are using OER uh, or, or developing courses based entirely on OER uh, to provide free learning opportunities uh, for all students worldwide. Um, and uh, with uh, pathways to achieving formal academic credit. Um, so, um, so basically, how the system will work is we will be building courses entirely on uh, using uh, OERs, and uh, learners from wherever they are in the world will be able to study for free. And uh, sh should they require uh, formal assessment services, they'll be able to approach any one of the anchor partners uh, for those credentialing services, and uh, to, you know, towards getting credible degrees. So that's basically uh, what we do, and um, you know, just a, I, 
maybe just two reflections and then I'll, I'll stop there because I think it's going to be more productive if we engage in some discourse and, and questions and sharing of ideas. Uh, and this relates to one of the articles which the, you know your project is working on uh, relating to the, the massive open online courses. Uh, and, and of interest, we the Wiki Educator project back in 2007 actually launched uh, an open online course, and it, it was quite distinctive back in those years because uh, you know all the materials were developed openly and collaboratively using a Wiki model. They were entirely based on OER. We provided free access uh, to these learning opportunities, uh, which predated the first MOOC, so to speak, by some 12 months, and I mean, I'm sitting wondering uh, about the the typology, if you will, of you know the different articles we're developing on open education, uh, and you know it might be a productive exercise to actually think about the typology, and you know, using open education as this umbrella concept, and then also the concept of open online courses, which is really the, an umbrella of MOOCs. Um, MOOCs is, is, is a subset of um, you know a, a range of initiatives that are happening on the open web. But I thought I, I thought I'd, I'd leave it there, and um, hopefully, if there are any questions, and um, it would be great you know to share some ideas.